Good morning, welcome to Monday morning. I feel like we live in this, spend our life in this car at the minute. We are on our way into Manchester again. Um, it is, it's not even morning actually, it's five to one. I've been up nice and early, I walked the dogs early this morning, Rick's been to the gym. Did you have a client or did you just train? No, I just train. I'm not trained in a few weeks and I tried yeah. to help with it poorly. Yeah, so it's trained legs. I edited the vlog, all the vlogging content that I did yesterday, I'm just hitting these on my face, um, that I did yesterday. And I wanted to get it uploaded this morning, but it's just taking absolutely forever, so I just had to say. It just took forever, so I wanted it. I wanted to get it up like this morning, because I didn't get a vlog out on Sunday, but it's just going to have to be tomorrow now, so like Tuesday. So anyway, we are heading into Manchester, and... We are going shopping again. It's like just going shopping two days in a row, but there's actually a reason behind it. So yesterday we only actually spent like an hour wandering around the shops and tomorrow is Max's birthday and we want to just get him a few little bits to open. He's got like a big present, but um, we're just going to get him a few little bits and bobs. And also the mission for today is that Rick is wanting to like upgrade his wardrobe a little bit, aren't you? And he's finally allowing me to style him and asking for my advice even though like that is what I do for a living and I always say to him all the time like let me like try this and try that and let me like choose some bits out for you but he's been a little bit stuck in his ways haven't oh, you hang, hang on. <laughs> what, it's what you do for a living is it yeah you style and dress 40 year old men no but you know what I mean like I this is what I do for a living picking out outfits and styling not for 40 year old men you don't no but I I'm just saying I just car. I feel like this guy's in the fucking He's in the wrong lane. lane. Oh my god. He would literally have just come oh, straight into you. Um but I just feel like I look like a 40 year old skateboarder sometimes. Yeah. I think he's got to the point, haven't you, where you've been wearing a lot of the same things for the last like probably like the last 20 years, haven't you? The same kind of style, if you're honest with yourself. I'm I'm an odd shape. I'm a difficult shape to dress. But you have been wearing a lot of the same kind of things for the last few years. Shorts caps, t-shirts, uh, gym stuff. Yeah, and it's and all usually a bit oversized. Yeah. Really yeah. So he's finally allowing me to pick out some bits and we're going to have, I mean it's one o'clock now, we're not going to have long to be honest though, are we? Rick forgot his wallet, so we had to, we got about 10 minutes away from home and then he realised he didn't have his wallet and then was panicking about where it was. So, um, do you want to go to Trafford Centre instead of Manchester again? Time-wise, where are you wanting to go? I, I don't know. I don't know how much time we're gonna have. Well, we're not gonna have much time going into the city centre. It's gonna take. It's gonna be long. Take longer to go into the city centre and wander around and park yeah. up, isn't it? Just go into. Where do you want to go shopping? Do you want to go into St John Lewis? <laughs> oh, no. This is good sales, isn't it? I'll be a personal shopper. Well, I'll, I will I'll be. give you outfit you advice. Me? Where do I want to go? Right. Are you going to give me freedom to dress you and just give you things to try on today? That is completely the idea of what right. we're doing. Okay. Otherwise, well, it's like coming shop with Rick and Beth will have a disgusting face in it, but where she doesn't agree. So there you go. Come on. Okay. So we were going to head into Manchester City Centre, but because Rick lost his wallet. Well, now we don't have time. And because of the vlog, it was because of the vlog as well. I was trying to get the vlog up for you girls, so it's actually your fault. Um, yeah, let's just go to Trapper Centre because it's one o'clock now. By the time we get into the city centre, it's going to be half one. By the time we've parked off and wandered anywhere, it's going to be time to start setting up to get over to Wigan. So we've got to be in Wigan for 3.10 for my PET CT scan. So this time last week we were going to, we were heading over to Manchester because we were going for my MRI at Christie's. This scan today is the PET CT scan where you put, they put like a, it's like a radioactive thing because they say you're not allowed near like animals and children for a bit afterwards, pregnant women and children. They put like a dye and you have to lie 
in a little room for like half an hour and not do anything. You can't look at your phone, you can't read, you've just got to lie there and like have a little bit of a nap. Um, so that your body completely relaxes and then they put you onto the scanner and they see where, I think it has glucose in, so they see where the sugar is going in your body and if it's like, because cancer really um, will attract that sugar more. So it's how they see like where there's potential cancer in the body. Um, so I'm actually not feeling nervous about it. I was really nervous last week going back to Christie's, but I think it was because I was going back to the hospital where I had all my treatment, whereas this, I don't know, I just feel quite relaxed about this today. So we're going to do the same as we did last um, Monday and just have a cup, like have a few hours to ourselves, aren't we, and just make it a bit of a nice day rather than it just being like a hospital day. And I'm going to get to style Rick up and choose some outfits for him. So I thought we will bring you along and um, you can share the day with us and you can see. Because I'm sure there's a lot of you actually that have husbands or boyfriends who I just, I think you've definitely felt like you've got to a stage, haven't you? Where you're suddenly like, oh, I don't want to wear that. I want to have more classic things, I'm, isn't it? I'm all right with going to the gym and just popping her and pottering. You need a potter in yeah. nothing. Yeah. But then when you go out or you go anywhere, you can't really care what people think, but just it's nice to feel like you you're dressing nice. Yeah. You need to be in the summer lane, you know. I know, but I can't see the wing because someone's got a camera in the <laughs> Oh my god, watch that car. Ah, oh, you're in the wrong lane. I'm not. Yes you are. I was going down there. Yes. You go in the wrong way, you go to a stop pot. It's very distracting when Oh, I knew it would be my fault. Looks uh, very stressed today. I can feel his energy. It's very stressful we, energy. Today, isn't it? At 11 and we didn't leave till half 12, and then I forgot what I um, But yeah, I'm sure that there's a lot of actual um, your boyfriends and husbands that probably feel the same. So I thought it might be quite an interesting thing to share and just show some like things that we're going to pick out for Rick. So that'd be fun. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all this thing Just come in to Levi's I thought it'd be a perfect time to show you my outfit I've got Rick's hair oh, jumper on <laughs> I've got Rick's hero hoodie on today, just some plain leggings and these are the shoes that I bought yesterday. But my feet look gross, so we'll show you them properly another time. <laughs> so we've come into Levi, we picked out three jeans for Rick that he would never normally pick out. We've got some khaki like chinos. These are like a really nice normal um like a like a vintage wash, 501 skinny, and then these are Really nice navy 502 tapered, so we're going to see how they look on. They look really nice. What do you think of those ones? I like that. I like those. Yeah, because you can get away with shoes as well. Yeah, and like a white yeah. t-shirt. I'm really casual. They also have them in like a, a beige kind of colour, but they're lovely, aren't they? I like those. Yeah, I do. I like the grey ones up that bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm really happy with those. Right, try on the um, those blue ones because I think they're going to be the nicest ones. I'm not get, I'm not get anywhere out there. You look more comfortable in those. They are comfier because they're a bit stretchy. You look more comfortable in those. They are the slim tapered. Try them on with your trainers. So I think they've got long legs. It does pull them in at the bottom. Yeah. Do you feel better in those? Because you look like you feel better in those. Yeah, I think they're really nice. Yeah. 
They're, you prefer those, don't you? Yeah. To the other ones. I See them on the bum? Yeah, you need to actually wear your jeans on your bum, not halfway down your bum. <laughs> They're lovely. Get those. We're having those. Okay. Yeah, not too tight. No, they're lovely. No, they're good. Honestly, that colour is nice. You're missing a nice blue jean mm -hmm. for summer, and that is really nice. It's not too light either. You could wear them in autumn, winter as well. I feel like we're on Levi's outfits when you go like I like them. I think they fit really nice, and I like them rolled up with the trainers. See the right, try these next. These are the same fit as the khaki ones. No, I'm not giving you my coffee, oh, I'm giving you the jeans. Okay. They're the same colour as the khaki, same fit as the khaki ones. But the wash on them is slightly lighter. So try them and see what you think. I love that. I think it looks really nice. It's different. <laughs> it's different. Like different to just the stuff that you normally wear. Looks nice jeans. Yeah. Not sure, are you? I don't know. That's what I mean, I don't know. Try the other one. I don't know when I wear it, though, that's all. Yeah. See, it's one of them things that I feel I just sit there. I like, I think it's really nice. It is. Your guns look big. Yeah, I don't know. Look in the mirror. Hello. I love it. I don't know, I won't make it all. You said you wanted different things, things that you wouldn't pick yourself. You wanted to change your wardrobe up. Hey? Uh, I really like it. It's, it's up to you. I don't, right, I well don't let's know get it then. I feel comfortable, comfortable wearing it. Comfortable wearing it. I think it's really nice. What do we think, girls? So we've had a little shop, um, but we are actually, we've, we just ran out of time again. We're so rubbish at the minute. We're literally like running in to Chef Centre having like an hour and then having to go again. Rick got both the Levi's, he got the blue um, slim tapered and then also got the um, khaki ones, which is so nice. I'm so glad he got them. We also went and, go, went and tried on the Axel Arigato trainers that he um, was showing me on the vlog last night. I don't know if you saw that, but um, we tried them on. I forgot to vlog it, but they weren't actually very nice, were they? I didn't like them. Um, but while we were in there, we actually picked up something for Max's birthday, which is in that yellow bag there. So basically, um, we were talking to him about what did he want, and he's at that funny age, um, 13, where he's like, I mean, what do they want? He, to be honest, they're, a bit, they're not spoiled, but they have everything. Like, you know, he's got like his computer, and he's having a phone off his mum, and we were just a bit like, we didn't really know what to get him. He's got like an, an iPhone, an Apple Watch, and all this kind of stuff. We were saying to him the other day about um, like essential hoodies, because Rick got an essential hoodie, and they're not even that, I mean, they're expensive, but they're not that pricey. They're like 100 quid. Um, You've got it to men's, haven't you? Though? Yeah, he's not in kids' clothes anymore, so it's even more expensive. But when we were just in Selfridges, then we saw they've got a new style essentials hoodie, which I'd seen online, but I thought, oh, he's not going to like that. I'm not going to get him that. But Rick just tried it on. It actually looked so nice. So they had an extra small bend. I tried it on. It fit me because Max is literally like the same size as me. So we actually got him that, which I'm very happy about. Are you? Yeah. So we've got him because we weren't really sure what to get him and I think that's something that he'll really, really like. I think he's just getting to that age, you know which lane you're in? Yeah, you're in the right lane, aren't you? He's just getting to that age where, I don't know, where they can start a oh, it's very dark, we're in a tunnel, <laughs> where they can start, um, like, they're showing interest in things like that. And I think at birthdays it's nice to be able to buy them something that you wouldn't normally buy them or they wouldn't be able to afford with their own money. So, um, I think... He's a funny shape as well, isn't he? Well, he's very broad, like, yeah, isn't he? He's big, he's like gonna be a big, big lad. Um, he's got big broad shoulders now, all of a sudden, and um, 
I think he'll really like that, so I'm really happy that we got him that because we were a bit unsure we were going to give him money, weren't we? No. Um, but no, I think that's a good present. I think he's going to be like absolutely over the moon with it. So, time went quicker than we thought, and we just jumped in the car to come over to Wigan to go for my hospital appointment. And then I think we're probably going to nip back into the shopping centre on the way home because um, we literally come straight back on it. Back, straight back past it on the way home um, and just get like his card and another couple of little bits that we want to pick up um, but my feet are absolutely killing in those sliders I know they're going to take so much um, wearing in because they're a really nice like strong sturdy leather um, so my feet are a little bit sore but luckily I brought my where they are now I brought my um, sheepskin like sliders uh, with me, so I'm going to put those on. I also didn't want to go to hospital in like my Gucci sandals. <laughs> so yeah, we're on the way to the hospital. It's actually so warm and I have no top underneath this hoodie because the weather said it was going to be like colder and showers today. So I can't take this hoodie off and I'm absolutely boiling. Um, but yeah, we're going to go get this scan done and then just go and just get last minute like cards and things like that and uh, little bits of odds from Max's birthday tomorrow and then we're going out for a nice birthday meal tomorrow evening to a place called Cry is it called Prime Cut? Prime Cut I think in Macclesfield um, so we're going to have a nice family meal uh, but yeah on our way to the hospital Good morning, it is, oh, hello Els, are you following me? I'm just about to go out the door to go and meet my friend's new baby. I've not been able to see her because I was ill and then, oh, and then we all had COVID and it's just been crazy. So I'm so excited to go and meet her. So it's my friend Michelle, she's actually got three boys already and then she's just had a fourth baby who is a little girl and I have a little present to take for her. And I wanted to show it you really quickly because having lots of like baby presents myself, one of the most helpful presents that I've found that people got me, I can't even get into this box. A few of the best presents I got were baby blankets. I wanted to show you really quickly the present that I got her without ruining it. So this is actually for my friend. If you've not tried this, it's absolutely insane. Brazilian bum bum cream and it's not just for your bum, it's moisturiser and um, it's the most gorgeous, gorgeous moisturiser. I actually thought that was going to come in a bigger package <laughs> than that but oh well. I also got her this really gorgeous, I'll link it below, and it's this gorgeous like pink blanket with clouds on. I'm really late as always but she's just going to grab my Adrenola bag to put this present in. And, oh my goodness, do you not even look at the state of my bedroom. Um, I'm sorry I didn't vlog anything yesterday after after my scan. I was actually really tired and it did make me feel a little bit weird. I don't know, there's just something about going for scans. Like, no matter how positive you feel, still you just lie there worrying and then it makes me feel a bit, like, nervy and things afterwards. So I didn't really, like, pick, I just felt didn't feel like picking my camera up afterwards. And this morning has been so chaotic because... Max's birthday today. We've got like a, I've not really got much of a work day today because I'm going to go and see my friend and then we're picking Max up from school and then we're going out for dinner tonight. So it's just all a bit crazy. So I'm going to grab this present. I'm just going to have to leave it wrapped like this because I'm in such a rush and I need to still go and grab a card and yeah, go and see my gorgeous new friend and her gorgeous new baby girl. I'm so excited. So we have come down to the new house. I've just had a lovely morning with my friend and my baby Isabel. She's so gorgeous. I had a little cuddle. She loved a present. It was lovely. So I've just come to get Rick. He's here. We have come to the new house to have a look at the light fittings for the kitchen that you all doubted me on. So these are the H&M lights that we've decided on that nobody, well, not very many of you, thought they would work but you're gonna have to trust me rick has ordered are these are these hm ones or these are your ones so rick has ordered new fixings so that i can still have this part of the light but have a more expensive looking fixture so we just come down to look at heights on those everything's coming together really um we are also about to order the 
antique mirrored splash back for here that's getting templated this week and that's going to go in there the kitchen sink and the tap has gone on but i don't know what's happened with this it's not quite fitted yet we've also got finally gone and got the paint that we've decided on for the banisters and the railings so we've gone for this one it is off black and they told us to actually get the exterior eggshell because it's more hard wearing so hopefully We've just told the decorator what we want. So we're gonna have the handrail and the posts on the stairs in this black and then the rest in the same white that we've had all the woodwork done. I can't remember what it's called now. It's a fur and ball color match, but for the handle we've actually gone for fur and ball so it's more hard wearing. Just stood here just now and I was like, listen, all you can hear is there's trees in. It feels so peaceful because it's nice and sunny actually get an idea. Can you hear? Shh, we're listening to the birds. Yeah. It's so peaceful and quiet. I'm so excited. So the lawn has been flattened out, but we do still have the deck in here, which is going to go in, which has cost an absolute fortune. So originally it was priced at about 2000 It's going to be over 5000 by the time it's finished because of the price of wood. So this is going to be all decked all around here. And then over in this corner here is going to be a shed, but it's nice to see like the grass all flattened out, still in a mess, <laughs> but we are moving forward because all this wall is now painted all this was still plaster so we're getting there just need the lights up here so we've sorted the light situation which nobody trusts me on but yeah everything's coming together now like all the kitchen is painted and also the downstairs loo is finally painted. I'm so happy with this space. We just need, obviously, the sink to go in. I'm so happy that we decided to put the downstairs loo under the stairs like this. It is more than enough space just to come in and have a little wee. And then we're having like a really small basin on the wall there. But it just doesn't take up as much room as it would if it had been here. And then it just allows us to have this nice cupboard um, which we're going to shelve out for lots of bits and bobs. Yeah, all, so we're going to have these posts in the black and then all the way up the handrails. This post, this post, and then again the handrails in the nice matte black. We're still not really much further on. <laughs> There's still just stuff everywhere. Um, up here, the bathroom, Max's room's pretty much finished I think um, but yeah we're no further than the last time I don't think no further so we've painted in here I'm actually not sure <laughs> about that color now because if you remember before they painted in here this was like a plastered wall kind of color and it really actually tied in with the natural colorway of the shower but now we painted i'm not 100 percent sure i think i liked it to kind of match but we can always do that at a later day anyway and change the color up just in here we're getting there richard uh. aren't we I was just saying, I'm not sure about the colour of the bathroom on suite now that we've painted it. I don't know if I liked it when it just kind of looked really like rustic and organic in here. But we can always paint it again at a later date if we decide we don't like it. Do you know what I mean? Like when the wall was the same kind of colour as this, it looked really rustic in here, didn't it? I don't really know. It's, it's not a very difficult No, color I know. Eye. Yeah. You would know it looks quite grey. Yeah. No, I don't hate it. I'm just saying I. I think I liked it before and it all looked really, really like rustic. Kind of feels like nothing's really come on, but it has. It's all the decorating now that's just taking forever. <laughs> Need to go get some work done before we go and pick up the birthday boy from school. And we are going to Prime Cut in Macclesfield tonight for some tea. So we're gonna go 
all the kids, my mum, Ruth's mum and dad. So it should be fun. So I'll bring you along to that as well because I've not been before, but it actually looks like such a nice restaurant. So if you're local to like Cheshire, it looks really fun. So did you call up and add the extra seats on? No, I need to do it up in there, haven't we? Be the good kid, be the good kid.